Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy, Mr. Gada Baby, and I'm back again with another interesting and eye opening episode. From the last episode, I showed you how an African American built a school in Ghana. Not knowing that it's not just a school that she runs, but she also have what? Uh, I don't want to introduce you once again, but uh, you okay. also have what? Yeah, we have a design studio, a recycling and resourceful design studio. Wow. Uh, which is actually part of the broader part of the institute. That's our residential campus. And here is our training, workspace, and professional development studios. Interesting. I've seen like, is this the same brick that you used to build the school? Yeah, it, originally uh, we produced um, our own earth bricks using the local latrite with a small uh, percent of uh, cement. Over there in that corner, they're all covered up now, but those are our brick making machines that we brought from India. Uh, and then, so what we're doing here now is because we have, we have a couple of uh, projects. Mm. We have a textile project where we use old denim. We buy, we get denim from the, the secondhand market. Most people don't know that textiles is the second big, biggest polluter after oil in the world. And African countries are particularly affected because the West sends their secondhand clothes down here, shiploads. And at the beginning, it looks like a nice gesture, but the fact is it ruined the textile industry. And also, a million pieces of used textiles go into landfill around Accra every week. So our small gesture is to take the old denim and the old jeans, uh, we treat it, we discolor it, we tear it up, and we make new clothing. That's amazing. So you, you get the raw materials from Ghana? Yeah, from the Obrudi Wayroom Market, secondhand market. Recycle it? Recycle it, and through resourceful design, we come up with a really, I think, a very beautiful uh, designed uh, product. This in your own house? Yeah, right here at the design studio. Yeah. This is incredible. You have to take me around. You really have to take me around. So well, where do we start? Okay, well, we, do, we have the textiles, and so we're just clearing this area where and, and rebuilding where the textiles are received, where they're cut, where they're washed, where they're sorted, sorted and graded. You might notice if you're looking on the walls, we have thousands of pieces of bottles on the walls that we collect. And right now you're seeing us a little bit in transition because we're reorganizing our space. But if you look over there, you see all the bottles that we have. And as I take you around, you'll see some of the way those bottles are used. Um, we, we cut and polish bottles. We're just building a new kiln so that we can slump. Okay. And that's just playful. That's just plastic bottles. We, we one time had a, you know, just to show you how you can make something aesthetic out of nothing. You know, it was a kind of a wall divider. Uh, we have a simple, uh, you can look at all the bottles and things we have over there. Uh, we have a simple cutting machine. Um, we make, um, I can show you, <clears throat> we make bricks out of the glass bottles. Like we bricks. cut them, yeah, we take two bottles and cut them in half and then we tape them together and we can insert that in the wall and it's almost like, like stained glass so the light will come through. And we have different colors. We do it in different colors. We have plain ones, you know, the blue ones from the gin bottles. And we make glasses. But, and when we go into the design studio, I can show you more. We make uh, cut to make glasses. We make candle holders. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we make pendants for lights so that you can make lamps. We make... Uh, Dessert dishes, these are not polished yet, but they all get polished. You'll see some of the polished ones later. So, and then um, you'll see too how we take bicycle rims and old poles and how we make mannequins for clothing that you can From hang clothing on. This is, uh, this is not the bicycle rim, sorry, okay. the handlebars. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, the handlebar yeah, yeah. and that's just the pole. And that's a brake router at the bottom that becomes the stand. And once we get the head on it, then a man could put his suit, hang his tie, put his shoes, and you can 
This is mind blowing. <laughs> so, and then we have so we have the facilities here to do woodworking. Uh, we have welding, and we have uh, batik uh, workshop over here. And so you can see we also collect lots of plastic bottles, bottles yeah. and use those for a variety of things. I'll take you into the area, no which problem. is one of our studios and where we're opening our new boutique. And you know, we, we work with an alliance of professional people. And here's some of the jewelry. And this is just to show the level and quality of design you can get using cow horn, leather, you know, locally. And, 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 and I just want to know, like you do this alone or with, like, um, with I, Ghanaians on board? Or? Exactly, I have a co-designer. We have different departments. You, uh, you met Kofi who uh, does yeah. our environmental yeah. studies educational yeah. work with, uh, yeah, around environmental studies. And Fulera, who is a co-designer with me, but she does most of the designing with the, the jewelry and the soap making and the candle making. That's Fulera. And, and Serena told me that she works with you. <laughs> yes, she does. What, what is your role in here? Okay, so it's um, a collaborative piece at the moment. And uh, we all know that the new business is collaboration. Exactly. You collaborate so that you can reach out to a wider audience. If you are alone, nobody will find you. If you are together, you go far, as, as we say. So since uh, my interest uh, was intensified when I saw that we were thinking alike, and when like-minded people come together, it's a psh, I mean, you know. Yeah. So I, I came in, we've been talking for, I think about eight, seven years wow. of collaborating. And slowly, slowly, by sure, I mean, but sure, we have uh, uh, implemented. You know, it's one thing to think about it and the other thing. So that is what we are doing. And what you see here are all from natural. That's why we, we've actually displayed on the palm to show you the relationship uh, with nature. So these are coconut shells here, and coconut this shells. yes, coconut shells. So just the the kube that yeah. you eat. So we 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 crack the the dried one, the very matured one. You take the the shells and then we cut them. As you saw already, we had shells from the seeds. Mm. I mean stones and seeds. So beads are actually anything you drill holes in and you can string. We call them beads. So these are coconut shells. This is a cow horn. Like this bracelet here, you see, this is a cow horn bracelet, and this is a cow horn with brass, and this is the same cow hide. So this is not imported. There's nothing imported on this piece. Yes, Ghana, yes, and these are recycled glass beads from Krobo. So all the bottles you see, as you saw, we have an oven down there to mm. bake the beads. Yeah. So and then we we travel to source some of the beads from Koforidia from uh, the Krobel area. Mm -hmm. we, we know they, they make this lovely stuff. So we put these recycled pieces together and all you see here. And this is a cow horn here. These are beads made from recycled glass and, and painted. And these are cow horns and these are brass and everything is made in Ghana. Um, the brass you see here is, in, is from Kumasi. You know, the Kumasi people are known for making solid brass so we incorporate all of that with a few from other african countries like burkina faso if you want good tanned leather yeah. you can fall on burkina faso so it's still the african yeah. sub-region business yes. we try to, pr but to I, promote I, I, I love your earrings <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't stop staring I, at the i forgot to talk about the earrings <laughs> so this um this this we call the gauges you know you gauge and you wear you put it on. So it's a pin. So my trick you. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody thinks I have a big yeah, hole. Yeah. Yes. So why not? I, I, I rock what I, I wear. So wow. so I've been doing this for 15 years now. 15 and years. then I found Auntie Renee, who is like a mother to me. And wow. I mean, in the same community. Why not? So we do all of these things. And then we give back to society because we get the kids to come here. We have uh, the community participating when we have workshops and all of that. And for me, 
that's the best you can give to that's, give back yes that's beautiful yes to give back so wow. so we have soaps we make candles maybe in the future we show you no, our I shop mean, i mean i wanna because soap right workshop. now i think because of covid you guys are showing me things that are already made <laughs> but i want to come back again to see people working make, yes here. yes that's, that would be yes. amazing so, so we definitely come back again. that's yeah. that's right so thank we'll be happy you. to have you and thank, thank you. you we love what you do thank for you mother so ghana and africa thank showing you so the much. world thank you so what much. we do yes thank you and then we have a couple of young apprentices inside but i'll just show you i hope you get enough light in here you have enough light too, bro. Okay, good. It's okay. so you can see the different light fixtures that we make. I think you may have seen some in the rooms on the other side that are made out of simple plastic water bottles. And over here, you can just survey all the stuff that we collect. Cow horns, bottles, uh, bottle caps, uh, inner tube, cans, bottle cans that we make stars in different shapes out of, Coca-Cola cans, um, whiskey covers, shells, all kinds of shells, big shells, small shells, just anything. PVC pipes, which we cut into pieces, just anything that can be used. Yeah, experiments. Yeah, with it. Here's, here's a fun example. These belts and things are just computer cords co covered with African fabric with glass beads and they're lovely belts that you can tie around your waist. And this old computer cord in the center. Okay, if we come in here, you get to see what the stained glass looks like there. Yeah. I'd love to see that nice. It's really, really vibrant and lovely. And then our denim, we make covers for the furniture. Those are old jeans. Old jeans? That's old jeans, and what we've done is just discolor it. And then you can see that's where the pocket used to be. And so it's <laughs> Yeah. Are you selling all these things? Yeah, we're right now, as I said, in transition because we're upgrading facilities. Mm and now getting ready to get our marketing strategy and get our things online. This is just, you know, the COVID, you know, made us take a pause and reorganize and that's what we're doing. But these are tables made out of old wood and uh, metal pipes, just pieces of old wood and metal pipes. So anyway, we, we, we get old jeans, okay? Just all kind of old jeans here different and sometimes we take the jeans and we bleach them take all the color out and then we cut them up so that we get shapes that are like skins and this is what we use as our kind of raw material but we don't just take the, cut them like that we take the straps off I mean the um, waistband okay and then we open up the waistbands after after we take them off then we open them up okay and then when we open them up, then we color them in different ways so that we get different patterns. And then we also take off of all the, the uh, zippers. And we take off the pockets. And we take off the side strips. <laughs> okay. And we, after we bleach <coughs> materials, here you can see on the wall here, after we bleach, <coughs> we make different patterns taking the color out so we get all different types of patterns that we can work with so then then we have a different kind of material to work with and that is so I, I always say get our skins because for me a, a, a leg is like a skin okay <clears throat> and after after we uh, do that we'll cut the pieces then we re-sew them back and maybe we'll make a pair of trousers. Oh. Put them together again. Yeah, we, we put them together again with a different kind of waistband and you get another whole kind of original product. Or sometimes we take these different strips. Essie? Yeah, come and help me. We take the strips and put them together 
and let's open it up. We get a really nice spread. Something really, really beautiful. Now, sometimes we use these, we make household products, bed spreads, or sometimes we use it as fabric to make coats. Coats. Coats, yeah. You're, yeah. Do, you have, do you have one in here? Yeah. I'd love to see it. Essie, here's a good example of the back, how we use it on the back of a jacket. Can I have it? Yeah. You can try it on, it's, it's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and wow. it really is cool. It does. Let, let, me, let me give you a little. Uh, all right. I, 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 I want to. I want to be cool too. Wait a minute. I want to be cool too. And what you should notice is that our buttons, holes, are made of the buttonholes from the jeans, and our buttons are also from the jeans. So the whole product is recycled. So here's. And it's just a little bit different style, mm. but we're kind of laid back and cool. Let me give them the back here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so you know. The people that work here, you train them? Yep, Essie's a young woman. Oh. She's a, a sewer. She's learning design. She's learning. She does electrical. Oh, you can tell them all the stuff you can do, Essie. So what do you do in here? Um, Oh, wow. Packaging. Packaging. But you look so young. Yeah, I'm yeah. 19. She's going to be amazing. So what are you going to start doing on Monday? What are you going to be learning on Monday? Soap. How to make soap and candles. That's beautiful. This is a whole new education okay. system that you've introduced in Ghana. Yeah, we, we like to think that it's an education system, but our goal is to create marketable items. And not just, when somebody looks at our product, they shouldn't see recycled. They should see design and fashion. Here's a bomber jacket, and here's a car coat. I'll let Essie put on the bomber jacket, and I'll put on the car coat. And these are our designs. Let's pop your collar, that's good. <laughs> Put your hand in your pocket, be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, but we have another one, I'll show you. Okay, then let me show you our co another coat, which is pretty cool. A full length denim coat that's really great for the fall and uh, spring. And then I'll show you when we, what, what of our latest ones where we're getting into now, not just taking the color out, but re-dyeing the denim afterwards. And this one we've done <clears throat> with a dye. Now we're trying to experiment with natural dyes, with turmeric and other colors, so that we'll have a completely recycled product. You have to, you have, how much will you sell this to me? <laughs> this coach sells for about $500. But for you, 450 is okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you see, Essie's jacket, I have to say, that's really a jacket that young yeah. people yeah, it's really so like. And what's nice is, if you unzipper it, you'll see that it has a, uh, we use, um, we use uh, the lining is kind of, um, just open it, batik. So we use recycled material or made in Ghana African fabric. But everything has to come from here. That's, that's everything more beautiful. But I've seen something, I think I... Oh, there's our... To this one? I don't know, you make this one here too? Oh, this is your final jacket. <laughs> that's the kid, oh, okay. kitty wear. Okay, talk about that. For now. cool oh, kids. All right, that's for cool kids. This is nose masks? Yeah, those are nose masks. We're doing a subcontract for the government. From here? Yes, in fact, uh, there you go. Uh, 
and Essie works on this project too. In fact, she's very fast. And here's some of the nose masks. You can see the. Uh, The coat of armor. So it's really for the government. Can see the coat of armor. Exactly. Wow. Ghana, we're proud of Ghana. We're proud of the way Ghana did during the COVID, that she was really a leader in the world. So many people congratulated the president's efforts around the world. Yeah. Uh, I want to know do you need any kind of support to make this bigger? We are doing, this is a subcontract. These masks are made for the Ministry of Health. So they send the materials to Sleek Garments, one of their main contractors, and we support that, initi that initiative. Well, and uh, my final question, do you believe that Africa is the future? Absolutely, absolutely. We have everything here, and we still have skills. We're just a, not even a generation away from having complete respect for the environment. And complete respect for the environment is what's gonna shape industry, commerce and development in the future. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you too.